Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the movie Ghosts 1990 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how to look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Rose works closely with Wheat. She is not fussy, caring and collected both in work matters and in personal life. Able to be on time to help others with organizing her time and remembering all the important things. The role was played by Martina Dignan. Carl Brunner, Tony Goldwyn, showed himself as a good friend and colleague of Sam until the desire to enrich himself revealed his true nature. He is ambitious and can stop his ambitions in time, able to take revenge on others because of his personal failure. Susan, Susan Breslow, adheres to business etiquette and strives to interact appropriately with other bank employees, knows how to abstract herself from external stimuli and, in general, tries to be friendly and smiling, but only as much as they treat her that way. Moore is good at physical work and mostly works in cargo transportation. Sometimes he lacks intelligence and finds it difficult to quickly find a way out of a difficult situation, but is able to quickly provide help when necessary. Played by Rick Kleber. Sam Wheat is a skilled and successful banker who is committed to building a happy future with Molly. is determined not used to giving up and even becoming a spirit sought to protect Molly, played by Patrick Swayze, who died in 2009 of pancreatic cancer. Cemetery Ghost is one of the souls that is temporarily stuck in the world of the living. She doesn't tend to frighten others and is generally not aggressive. She's not devoid of insight and is not used to imposing her company, played by Sharon Breslow. Willie Lopez has a criminal past and often works as a mercenary for various nefarious purposes. He is used to do his job efficiently and keeps his cool. Conscience is of little concern to him, played by Rick Havilas, who died of heart failure in 1995. Emergency Room Ghost he is not bitter and has a sense of humility and immunity to stimuli. He is not constrained and knows the main features that ghosts encounter, which sometimes can stun newcomers. Played by Phil Leeds, who died in 1998 of pneumonia. Minister is a religious person who sincerely believes in the Holy Commandments. He sees the good in people and is ready to say so publicly on occasion. As a person, he is considerate and pure-hearted. He is characterized by modesty. Played by Sam Tsutsuvas. Subway Ghost, compared to other spirits that have been Sam's encountered, is not particularly friendly, though he can be a bit of a help at times. He likes to make a spectacular exit. Played by Vincent Chiavelli, who died of lung cancer in 2005. Otome's sister doesn't have a special talent unlike her sister and is simply engaged in providing her with related assistance. She's distinguished by good performance and can perfectly maintain the image for spiritualistic senses. Played by Gail Boggs. Otome's sister, Armelia McQueen, is generally characterized by her emotional nature, but not excessively so, which she displays when something surprises or frightens her. She's not overly ambitious or aspiring to be a businesswoman, preferring to help her sister. Police sergeant is part of the homicide department and was involved in the search for the weed killer. He is used to focusing exclusively on a well-founded evidence base and is to some extent a skeptic and not gullible man. The role is performed by Stephen Root. Policewoman is a person of conservative views. Due to her duty, she can listen carefully to a person but not heed its arguments and remain unconvinced tries to express herself politely, clearly in order to convey her position to others. Played by Laura Drake. Woman Ghost 
was one of the ghosts that started bothering Oda on a regular basis. As a ghost, she is somewhat selfish and makes no effort to understand the feelings of others, especially the living. Played by Alma Velfran, who died in 2007 of natural causes. Bank officer is able to explain to each client clearly and easily what actions they need to take in a particular banking case. She has a rather strict nature and cannot take humor while working. Played by Charlotte Zucker, who died of cancer in 2007. Bank guard is a supporter of fairness and correctness. He is a stern, disgruntled, middle-aged man who hates every customer who comes to the bank. When the working day ends, he is dissatisfied with people outside the bank. The role is played by Tom Finnegan. Lyle Ferguson, Bruce Jarko, works in one of the bank's departments where a weed is. He doesn't like to look awkward in front of other people, which is usually due to his forgetfulness, especially after drinking. Doesn't know how to abstract from the situation. None, Faith Brenner, like many in her shelter, is involved in charity fundraising to help people in need. She is distinguished by moderate modesty, can show persistence, but she is also alien to rudeness. She is not used to approaching others with unsolicited advice. Arsenio Hall, Arsenio Hall is one of the few comedians that Otome Brown watches with his family. He is not for his wit, inability to hold the attention of others, and he is quite tolerant of self-criticism, has a poised demeanor and is able to adapt well. Bank co-worker is distinguished by an attentive approach to work and is able to notice not only changes in the work process, but also in the people around him. He is able to quickly analyze information. Played by William Card, who died in 1993 of cancer. Molly Johnson is a talented and independent individual who has a strong creative spirit and passion for art. She is able to love and continue her life despite difficulties, although sometimes it's intricately for her to cope with her feelings. Played by Demi Moore. Otome Brown, Whoopi Goldberg, is an expert in spiritualism, though her true powers have only become apparent with Sam's arrival. She is faced with moral dilemmas and finds it difficult to act on her conscience and remain unconcerned about a large sum of money. Rosa Santiago was one of Otome Brown's clients. She is moderately persistent and is ready to resort to any method to achieve her goal and even turn to a specialist in spiritualism. Played by Angelina Estrada, who died of a heart failure in 2005. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.